All right, so welcome to video number three. So last time we added a basic login page for end users to log into. Now, as you may have already seen, this is by no means a secure login. First, we're only handling one user. And second, we are not protecting the route in which we need to log into, which in this case is the home route. And let me go ahead and show you which is this route so you can access it without being logged in, which defeats the purpose of having a login. So we need to A, protect that route so that it can't be accessed by an unauthorized user using the login required decorator, and B, indicate to Flask that a user is logged in through a session key. Now before we begin, I highly recommend using a popular Flask extension called Flask Login for managing sessions. It's a small yet powerful utility and we'll be creating our own means of managing sessions and users for educational purposes, but as this app grows, I will eventually migrate over using this extension. Anyway, let's start by adding sessions. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my terminal here, and you wanna go ahead and navigate to your Flask directory, which is Flask intro, and then activate your virtual environment. And again, you can do that just by typing source, VNV, bin, and then activate. And then get your text editor up. And then within the app.py file, let's go ahead and add the following line of code to the login function. So session, logged in, and we'll set that to true. So essentially, if the user's credentials are correct, then the value true is assigned to this key of logged in. So users also need to log out, of course. So let's go ahead and add that route in here. And that URL is just gonna be log out. Set the function name to log out as well. Let me just finish typing this first before I go over it. So basically, when a GET request is sent to that route, to this log out route, and I actually need to put a forward slash there, we then pop the value of true out of the session object and replace it with none. And this will actually delete the key and then you want to go ahead and redirect the user to the welcome page. So I'm going to do return, redirect, and then URL4, and then we'll go ahead and put uh, welcome in there. Someone hits the logout route, then we pop out the value of true, and then it deletes the, the logged in key, so we're left with an empty dictionary. You also want to make sure that you add session to the uh, imports here. So let me go ahead and save that and go ahead and fire up the server. And of course, I need to actually do that. So Python app.py. Um, there's an error on line 28. And that was indented over one. My bad. Okay, it's probably good for you to see these errors just to see how to uh, troubleshoot them. And let me go to localhost 5000. So let's go ahead and hit that login route and try and log in. So admin, hit admin. And oops, there is a runtime error. So did not set a secret key. Just stepping back a little bit. So sessions, they use cookies or rely on cookies to store information about a user, which in this case is whether they are logged in or not. And the difference between a session and a cookie though is that sessions store the actual data about a user on the server side, while on the client side, there's just the session ID. So in order to access the actual data, you need to use an encryption key which comes from the secret key variable. And so we need to go ahead and 
add that variable into our app. So we just say app dot secret underscore key. And then we're going to set that equal to refreshes. And you can actually put anything you want here, but and this will work, but there's two ex extremely dangerous security flaws here. So first, the value associated to that variable should be completely random. So that's nearly impossible to guess. And you want to use a random key generator for this. And next, this key should actually be placed in a separate configuration file, which would then be added to the imports. So we'll address both of these issues in another video. So for now, just know that you need a secret key for sessions to work properly. The session key protects the session from being accessed client side. And the means in which we're adding the key to our app is less than ideal, but will still work. So if we go back to our browser and refresh the page, we can see that we're logged in and it redirected us to the main URL. So now if we go ahead and open up the developer tools, so right click, go to inspect, and then we can click the resources tab, and then open up the cookies here, check the cookies for our local host, we can see our session key here. And then if we go to the network tab, and let me actually um, log out real quick, and go ahead and log back in admin, admin, get redirected, and then I click on login here. We scroll down, so we can see that session cookie is actually part of the response object. Okay, so let's go ahead and log out again. Now if we go to the resources tab, you can see that session key is now gone. Okay, so now let's add flash messaging to provide the user with some feedback. This type of messaging is generally coupled with templates and they work alongside requests. So let's open up Sublime again. So we wanna go ahead and add the following code to the login function here. So this is after a user is logged in. So flash, just type the message you were just logged in. And then for logged out, so when, then when someone logs out, let's just add you were just logged out. I'm gonna go ahead and add flash to the imports up here. And now we wanna go ahead and update our home function here to render a template called index instead of returning a string. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy or comment that out and then go ahead and, and return this template called index.html. And we need to go ahead and add that template in. So this is called index.html. And we're, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this from the repo. And the link for the repo will be in the video's description. So we go to templates index.html, let me just go ahead and grab html. And notice the for loop used here for retrieving and then displaying each flash message. So essentially there can be more than one flash message at a time. We wanna go ahead and add this for loop to both the welcome and login pages. So here's the login page and then add this to the welcome page as well. Make sure that's saved. And then on our index page, notice how we also have a link for logging a person out. So let's go ahead and test this. So let me just go ahead and make sure that I'm logged out right now. And actually that flash message is wrong. Um, you were just logged out in. Of course that just needs to be logged out. Let me try that again. So you were just logged out. So now if we log in, 
admin, admin. There's the flash message. You can see that there is now a session. And then if we log out, there's the flash message again, indicating we logged out. And you can see that the session is gone. All is well. All right, that's it for sessions. So now we need to still protect that home route so that only logged in authorized users can access it. So you can see that it's still accessible even though we're not logged in. And we can protect this by using the login required decorator. So let's go back to our code here and let's add a new import. So from Funk Tools, import wrap. So if you've worked with uh, decorators before, this will look uh, familiar. Now we need to add the actual login required function. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab that from the repo as well, just to save some time. Go ahead and copy this. And then we need to add the decorator to the home and log out routes. to log out there okay okay so now if the user sends a get request to this index page and they're not logged in meaning that there is not a key called logged in in the session object then the login required function will catch it it's going to flash a message well first it's going to redirect to the login back to the login page or to the login page and then it's going to flash this message that they need to log in first. Otherwise, it is going to log them in. So let's go ahead and test this out too. And I need to make sure, actually, we are logged out. So let me just refresh. And I, I have an import issue. Oh, it's wraps. Lots of errors today. Okay, so now if we try and hit the main URL, it's redirecting us to the login page and then flashing this message, you need to log in. So let's test the uh, logout URL as well. And then let's just make sure that we can log in, see the session, and we can log out. Cool. All right, so everything works. So if you're curious to know a little bit more about how this decorator is working, uh, be sure to check out the Real Python course, and that's just at uh, realpython.com. So next time, we'll add in a database to house some actual content. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Cheers.